KTM 390 Adventure Crash Bars Installation Manual. Let's begin by introducing the parts and the supplied hardware. So we have a right side, left side crash bar. We have two tube clamps. The supplied hardware, four M6 by 25 millimeter long hex head bolts, four M6 nylock nuts. And then we also have two M6 by 20 millimeter long hex head bolts plus two washers, and then also two M8 nylock nuts and two eight millimeter washers. The tools we're going to be using, ratchet, extension, and then 13, 10, and eight millimeter hex sockets. You can also replace them with wrenches or spanners. These are additional parts that you may need in case your bike does not come with the OEM crash bars equipped. In that case, you will see these parts. It's four spacers. Each spacer has its place. So one, two, and three and four on the other side. Okay, so spacer goes up here, one of them, and then you have two M8 by 60 millimeter long hex head bolts. And you have two 10 millimeter nylock nuts and washers, as well as a through bolt. The through bolt goes through down here. So on your bike, you will have to remove the original OEM through bolt. And this will go through from the right hand side like so and then the spacers so you put on the crash bar like so I may have pushed it in a little bit too much but I can push it back from the other side and now there's enough thread put on the washer and the nylock nut and the tools Ratchet, ratchet extension, 17 millimeter wrench slash spanner, 17 millimeter hex socket, and a 13 millimeter hex socket. All right, we're gonna mount the left side crash bar now. Get the bolts ready. Don't forget to apply blue Loctite on this six by 20 bolt, medium strength. Line up the mounting holes and then turn the bolt a few times. And now grab the M8 nylock nut and the washer, put on the washer and then spin on the nylock nut. Like so. C clamp or tube clamp. Grab the M6 by 25 bolt. All right, right side identical. There's only one slight change here that we recommend. There is not a lot of room back here. So, you can tack the, the nuts in place. You can use uh, super glue or, or anything you want so they, they stay in place in, in the meantime. Otherwise, you're gonna have a very, very tough time keeping the nuts in place and threading the, the bolt at the same time. So one bolt in, don't forget the blue Loctite on this top bolt here. So again, washer, spin on the nylon nut. As you can see, there's very little room back there. This is why we glued on the nylock nuts. That's not how it's gonna be in the package. It's gonna be loose, but this is one trick that you can also utilize. It's gonna make your life easier.
Okay, so it's a wrap. So once again, if you're putting on, if you're mounting our skip plate, leave both sides crash bars loose. If not, then you can pull these bolts nice and snug. And as always, we recommend that you go out for a test ride, 100 kilometers, 150 kilometers, 80 to 120 miles, and double check all the bolts and nuts once again. So should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via email info at outbackmotortech.com or call toll free 877-931-3636. Thanks for watching.